Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us on the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Deb Gillard, your host, and today is Friday, February 24th. Yes, I know oh, you can't even see the poster in front of me. I thought maybe you could, but there's no. a reason for it. I was going to say That's there's a reason for the poster. In front of me. <laughs> you get all me in here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We've got a great program coming up for you. We're going to be talking about a couple of upcoming mm -hmm. events. But before we do that, we want to make sure we acknowledge our Owatonna Today Show supporters. They include our premier supporters, the City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, Mayo Clinic Health System Owatonna, the Owatonna Public Utilities, Safe and Drug Free Coalition of Steele County and the Steele County Food Shelf. Primary supporters are Amy Swain Hearing Centers, Little Theater of Owatonna, the Owatonna Care Center, Steele County Environmental Services, and Steele County Historical Society. Our interlude supporters are Abraham Consulting Technologies, Summit Mortgage, A Plus Sew and Vac, Glenn Mager and Tim Thomas of the Brick Mager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Brookdale Senior Living, Claire Bridge and Sterling House of Owatonna, Carlson Brandstad and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Clancher and Sun Landscaping and Concrete, Napa Auto Parts, the Owatonna Business Incubator, Pizza Ranch of Owatonna, Profinium Financial, Snap Fitness, and TPS Insurance. If you are at all interested in becoming a supporter of the show, please get a hold of Leanne at 390-5751. We've got supporter packets, and she'll be happy to get one to you for your consideration. And if you're ever interested in making a contribution as an individual to our program, you can do that by sending it to Owatonna Today, 1130 North Elm here in Owatonna. Of course, we welcome your information to us as well, um, and we do, we, we in First of all, I encourage you to patronize our supporters and tell them thank you. Um, if you are interested in getting us information about guests or show topics, please take note of our email address and cell phone numbers on the screen throughout the course of the program and get us some info about things that are happening in the community. We're happy to hear from you. As I mentioned, we'll be talking about a couple of those things. When we come back from our first break, we're going to be talking about Brewfest for Culture Fest. And we've got some props that you're going to be seeing and a couple of great guys to talk here about the uh, Brewfest for Culture Fest. A little bit later on in the program, we will then be talking about the home, hometown sampler for Steel County Food Shelf and some uh, history on that and some great additions for this year. So we're really excited to have that. And as always, a little treat of music along with that. So let's take our break with our supporters and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty with the Sterling House Assisted Living, a part of Brookdale Senior Living. Our mission is to enrich the lives of those we serve with compassion, respect, excellence, and integrity. We are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltfett of Horizon Eye Care Professionals, eye care you can trust. We're proud supporters of Owatonna Today. Hi, I'm Glenn Mager, owner of the Brick Mager Funeral Home and the Medford Funeral Home. And I'm Tim Thomas. Together, Glenn and I are most competent in serving families of all faiths and embracing the wants and needs of each family that we're privileged to serve. We are proud to be a part of the Owatonna Today Show. Welcome back, and thanks again for joining us on Friday, February 24th. And there's the poster I was referring to. See, people thought I was nuts there on my no. opening. <laughs> Only we knew in the studio that I was talking about a poster here, and there's a reason for that. Rod Baker, Mike Jensen, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And I mentioned we'd be talking about Brewfest for Culture Fest. So maybe we should answer the question as to what is on the poster, first of all. So yeah. And that's going to lead us right into this great event. It should. Uh, what's on the poster is just pictures of pubs and stuff from around Oxford, England. A good friend of mine had spent uh, a semester over there going to school, and with some of the pubs I'm sure that he had frequented and <laughs> wanted a memory. That's how you get and, pictures. Yeah. And you get pictures. You have to go there. Yes. And uh, just thought it was just kind posters. of one of the things that uh, kind of symbolized what our British Brewfest is going to be kind of oh, about. Very excited for that. This, of course, is a... Um, a fundraiser, so to speak, for Culture Fest, which comes up in September. So let's let's go way ahead with the date on that. And when is that coming up this year? It's the fourth Saturday in September every year. Okay. Um, this year it'll be on September 22nd. Okay. Culture Fest. It's a multicultural outdoor festival combining, you know, entertainment, children's activities, food, um, sporting activities. You know, everything from rugby to cricket to lacrosse, uh, bringing in lots of different opportunities, bringing the community together. Um, definitely a fun event in September. It is. It is, and the, there's yeah, all sorts of mu music and food and things going on representing uh, various cultures. And we've been lucky with weather sometimes, and unlucky with weather other nice, times. <laughs> we'll talk about the flood, but. We won't go back there because we hope that never happens again. But it is a really, really great community event. And so along those lines, 
you really never stop planning for it. One finishes the year before. And we almost immediately start planning for the next one as well. Start getting ready. That is correct. And which, uh, which Culture Fest is this? How many years now? Is this well, four? I can both think. Teen? I can hear the wheels. Is it 14? Somewhere? I think it might be 14 or somewhere around there. I mean, okay. it's been a whole lot of years. Many successful <laughs> years of Culture Fest. So we're really looking forward to that. One of the things, though, of course, leading up to it and to raise funds actually for Culture Fest is Brew Fest. And now this is just the third year for this event. And that is correct. Uh, and so that is exactly it. It is a fundraiser for Culture Fest to help support the educational outreach of that, of that event. And so what it is, is we'll be having Bridge Brew Fest this year. It is Friday, March 16th. 16th. <laughs> Thank you. There's there a poster right in front <laughs> of you. Right in front of me. I could use the stuff right there. But anyway, Friday, These March 16th. These are called tools. These are called, yes, exactly. But Friday, March 16th. And this year, in the years past, we've had German Brew Fest. We've had Irish Brew Fest. This year will be British Brew Fest. And so the food will be traditional English food. We will be also having... Uh, traditional, we're having some music as well and all kinds of good stuff like that and it will be hopefully like a pub atmosphere where we're all kind of sitting around eating and singing and having a great time. And we don't even have to go to all these various pubs to get all these you wonderful know. beers. It's right there. It's, it's pub in one location. Exactly and we are having you know authentic, we'll have uh, brews from England and stuff so it'll be okay. British I think this year. What we're shooting for is Newcastle Brown Ale is one of our main ones also, uh, some strong apple cider, which is uh, okay. some strong bowl, actually. Okay. And uh, some Samuel Smith uh, nut brown and oatmeal stout will be our featured ones mm. this year. And also available in our taste sampling. So you can get a I chance. I don't see any samples here for us. <laughs> 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 I mean, yes, what is up with it? <laughs> <laughs> the girls got to bring us cookies. Why don't you guys bring us beer? We should have. <laughs> Good. So. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you, of course. But... Um, you have home brewers as part of the event as well. That's an interesting concept. We have home brew demonstrations available for people to learn how to home brew. And if they have questions, we bring in some experts and have some um, displays set up for them to, to learn more about that process, as well as, as, well as sampling um, some of the, the beverages that he just mentioned. There'll be opportunities to sample that. When we put the event together, one of our goals was to keep it very relaxed, very low key. Um, just come and enjoy yourself. You pay your admission price and that's it. We're not going to hit you up for a raffle bucket. We're not going to hit you up for an auction item. We're not going to hit you up for anything else. Well, other than a glass, we'll hit you up for a glass. They're nice though. I They're nice that glasses. One, yeah. You'd want one of those. Mm -hmm. But other than that, th we're not really hitting you up for anything else other than if you wish to purchase additional beverages. Okay. So it's, it's um, a nice, affordable evening in that sense. It is $45 for the evening's event, okay. and that will get you admission in. You will um, get your meal, and Tim Cochran has really went yes. above and beyond at the Country Club, putting together a fish and chips menu basket, okay. um, which is going to be, we actually sampled the other day. I will share with you that I do not care for fish, and I had two helpings. Wow. So, so he it's did a very, good job. very good, awesome. very crisp. Um, I think he's using a Newcastle beer batter on it. Yes. Oh, um, so it's, it's very, very good. We have entertainment. Uh, we have a dueling piano duel by the name of Mischief and Mayhem okay. that will be there doing a lot of British invasion music and just kind of also just some pub music, getting the crowd going. Okay. Um, it's going to be lots of fun. Um, what else have I forgot, Rod? We've done entertainment, we've done food. Oh, with the admission price, too, you do get one um, beer as part of okay. your admission price. Okay. So if you factor all that in, 45 bucks, pretty darn reasonable. For an evening of entertainment and lots exactly. of fun. It starts when? What time of the uh, day? The beer sampling starts at 5 and runs okay. till um, 7, and dinner and entertainment starts at about 7, okay. and we'll go till we're done. Okay, until all the mischief and mayhem Man, and everything is done and the sampling is, is taken care of. So, and you mentioned some of the beers that you're going to be having there, and this is at the Country Club. Now, w you usually sell this out the, for the past couple of years, and That's as correct. we speak here, there... I, I think mean, there's less than 50 dwindling. tickets available. Okay. Um, now, so how many can be seated out there? 200 is what we've okay. selected. So you have a limited amount, and uh, so tickets are already flying no. because people have obviously had a good time in the past. Exactly. And that was, this year was, uh, we had people before the, before we had tickets, we had people approaching us. Do you have the tickets? Do you have the tickets? So that has been a great thing. People were chasing cock keys yeah. down ahead of time <laughs> and trying to get them. And we should, is that the only place that they're located or where can we get tickets? Cock keys, Triumph Graphics, or from any of the um, committee members for Culture Fest. Okay. 
Right. So there's three locations um, where they can get them. Okay, and you've been involved, Mike, with this for a long, since Culture Fest, since its inception, right? I attended the first one and then participated, participated, starting in the second one. And you were about the same I was time. About the same time. About the same time too. Exactly. So you've some really, you've seen some really fun and amazing things happen with Culture exactly. Fest. I think over the years, anything that you care to share that really stands out in your minds? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. There's been some really great, great groups that we've had come in. There's things that uh, take, for people to have a chance to see that you wouldn't know was out there type mm -hmm. thing. And that's the whole idea is that we bring in stuff that is culturally. Um, true to it mm -hmm. and uh, some stuff that to expose people to get a chance to see some of the things. I mean last year we had people, um, I think we had the Indian, a group of Indian dancers. It amazed me how many kids were right down in front mm -hmm. watching exactly what was going on and just yes. really into what was going and so very amazing. Well and I think just seeing the community come together and everybody having a chance to celebrate their heritage, their background, whether it's Irish, German, Norwegian, um, you know, mm -hmm. um, wherever you come from, you have a chance to celebrate it there. Yeah, yeah. Now, how many how many individuals do you have working on a, commu a committee to put all well either either or of the events? But Culture Fest probably involves a lot of people. In our core okay. committee is about eight. Okay. It's eight of us. All right. And then during for the festival, then we have several more, 50, 60 more that are helping us out for different uh, booths and educational situations and stuff okay. and just people just come in and help for the day but there's eight of us that take care of the organization and all the stuff it takes to get the event organized and running for the year. Okay and we'll of course be hearing a little bit more about that as we get closer to the event and I know That's you're correct. always looking for people to get involved and uh, be a part of the demonstrations and again showcase their heritage and, and be a part of that. But again, Brewfest for Culture Fest is the immediate event or uh, upcoming yeah, event, I guess, exactly. and more immediate. Um, and let's just go over the details real quickly again, Mike, if you would. March 16th, grab tickets at Triumph Graf Graphics, Kotke Jewelers, or for many of the committee members, $45 to get you an evening's worth of entertainment, food, beverage. Um, more fun than you could ever imagine. Right. So we encourage folks to come out. There are less than 50 tickets available so at this point, and it is an advance sale only, so you must get your tickets yeah. in advance. Once it's full, it's full, it's and you're full. going to be one of the lucky ones if you're there having a good exactly. time. So Mike and Rod, thank you so much. It's going to be a great event. I um, hope it's a su very successful one for you again. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We'll take a break for our supporters, and we'll be right back. I'm Diane Wilson of Profinian Financial, the bank that helps you achieve your financial dreams. Profinian Financial is proud to be a supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. The Owatonna Police Department would like to remind you to drive safely this winter season. Clear all snow and ice from your vehicle's windows before driving on the road. Turn on your headlights to increase your visibility to other drivers. Reduce your speed to match the road conditions. Increase the distance between you and the vehicle ahead of you. Approach all intersections with caution as if they were slippery. Doing these simple things will decrease your chances of becoming involved in a fender bender this winter season. Hello, I'm Dr. Wilbert Pino and I'm the new orthopedic surgeon at the Mayo Health Systems Owatonna Clinic. I'm a general orthopedic surgeon who relocated here with my family starting January 9th. My original specialty are uh, pediatric and spine surgery, and I do um, general orthopedic surgery as well. I look forward to meeting you and um, be of service to you if you have any orthopedic needs. Hi, I'm Brenda Bednar with Summit Mortgage, and I'm a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now, I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Hola, mi nombre es Alonso Hernández. Nada más quiero recordarles que el mes de marzo va a ser el Food Share Month. Por favor, vengan y ayúdenos el 19 anual Hometown Sampler en el concierto del Liro Teatro de Otana en marzo 2, 3 y 4 para beneficiar el Steel County Food Share. Vengan y vengan al músico offering del Bad Tangerines, The Gogos, The Hat and Buttered and Five Mile Band. La misión del Hometown Sampler es para que donen en efectivo y donaciones de comida para el Steel County Food Shelf. 
Nuestro gol es juntar 92 mil dólares durante el mes de marzo. Por favor, vengan y ayúdenos para que atiendan el Hometown Sampler. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. It is Friday, February 24th, and as you can tell, we're just having a little bit of fun here today on the Oatana Today Show, and very happy to welcome back kind of regulars in the studio, aren't you? Viana Bolin. Yeah. Hi. Tammy Furch. Hi. John Lestock. Morning, How are you Good. all? Good. Thanks. It's Good. always a pleasure to have you here talking about the hometown sampler Thank and you. benefiting the food shelf, and, and as always, we get a little treat of music. Uh, we didn't get bear, beer from our last folks, no. so we get music from you guys, right. so that's going to have to suffice, right. but welcome. We're very Thank you. Yeah, we're that. very giving you yeah. <laughs> compared to those dudes yeah. that you just talked to. Ouch! <laughs> See, they're sitting here waiting to heckle you now, so there you go. Oh, my goodness. But this is a great event. This is, in fact, the 19th annual, correct, John? It is the 19th annual Hometown Sampler concert series. And uh, once again, this year, we are out at the uh, Little Theater, mm -hmm. and... Uh, we will be doing four shows this year. Last year we had a full crowd at all three. So we've added a fourth show and that's going to be on Sunday afternoon at five o'clock. Wow. So we hope some people will take us up on that and, uh, and come on out. Okay. And once again, it's next weekend. Next weekend, the second, third, and fourth of and March. Four. Now, once upon a time, way back when, 19 years ago, did yeah. just the one concert, correct? We and did one concert back at the art Center. Do you remember how much money was raised? A thousand dollars. A thousand. And okay. I think part of that was we had a big donor that kicked in 500 themselves. <laughs> so, so. But it was obviously very popular and has grown over time to the point that you had to switch venues yeah. in order to accommodate, and it works very well at Little Theater. But even still, seating is limited. So what happened yeah. last year then? You sold all of them... There were some people that were turned away. Okay. So, uh, but I would mention it's uh, there is no assigned seating. I shouldn't it's say just, that. Sold yeah. out is probably a miss. Yeah. So you may want to get there early, but uh, probably Sunday is the best bet for okay. not having to get there quite so early. Okay. And the only admission really is a free will offering. Whatever you want to give, it could be a can of corn, it could be a check for five hundred bucks, mm -hmm. or it could be anything in between there. Yeah. Okay. But I will say that monetary donations go further for the food shelf because the food shelf can go um, to the food bank and get food for much, much cheaper than what you and I can go yeah. to the grocery store. Pennies on the dollar right, from what right. I understand. So, yes. you know, food, is, food donations are great, but monetary no donations go much, much further. Absolutely. And we want to talk with Vi a little bit yeah. later on in a few minutes about some of the statistics that right. we're going to be supporting when we come to this event, too. Right. The events, as, you, as John mentioned, are Friday and Saturday, March 2nd and 3rd um, at 7 o'clock. Sunday, March 4th, and there's two one at 2 o'clock and one at 5 o'clock, so mm -hmm. lots to choose from. Mm -hmm. uh, again, a lot of people, as, as you said, John, do like to make it an, an evening of entertainment um, but uh, and do one of those evening ones, but the Sunday one was obviously popular enough and to be adding mm -hmm. a new one. We do want to talk about some of the musical entertainment that we're going to get to enjoy, and I know Tammy is going to let us know about the bands we're going to be we're going to be seeing and hearing. We do. We have four bands again this year. Bad Tangerines, Hot and Bothered, and The Gods, and then a new band, the Mile 5 Band, and these are five um, kids from high school. I think they're, are they sophomores? I, I believe so. so. Oh, sophomores wow. in high okay. school, and they That's do great a talent. great job, and mm -hmm. we're really excited to have them. Okay, let's mm -hmm. talk just a little bit about each of them. Folks may know, because you've been, you know, they may have heard you and heard your or heard the names, too. Hot and Bothered is? Hot and Bothered is Viana, mm -hmm. Kirsten Andrewd, Paul Kunkel, Jessica Dant, Mike Shenander, John, and then Joe. Um, actually, your Colin. new bass player, Colin Whalen. You have a newbie in your band mm -hmm. this year. Okay. Yeah. 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 And a particular type of music that you're going to be kind of playing or all over the map? <laughs> all over the map. Oh, we like it's, that. It's That's quite good. a variety. Okay. Yes. Let's go to Sampler. Rolling <laughs> Stones. I think they're yeah. doing Rolling Dolly Parton, Stone, Dolly. Dolly Camp. Yeah. We've got yeah. an Irish tune. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it is all over the map. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Never mind my asking. <laughs> no particular genre there, but okay. Bad Tangerines? Um, the Bad Tangerines, we're doing a little Cindy Lauper, Taylor Swift. Mayor Hawthorne. Okay. Um, we're doing a song about I love you more than I do my dog. It's oh. not exactly called that, but um, <laughs> that should like be entertaining. Yeah. Like what that dog. one's all love, about. Love you like my dog. That's and a, the bad tangerines is yourself. It's and the bad tangerines are my husband Mike mm -hmm. and I, and Tim Van Gelder. He's our newbie this mm -hmm. year. Okay. He's a new um, doctor at the hospital and um, just a really great group. singer. Okay. Mark Sebring and Jody DeCam. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
And the Gogs are made up the of? The Gogs are David Dow, Dan Lears, Sam Beckman, um, John Weisenberger, and Dave Schrader. Okay. And do they pr play a particular genre? Or am I a wide open December question for me today? I'm not yes, sure exactly yeah. what else. But They're more indie, okay. alternative. Mm -hmm. Some fun stuff. They really yeah. have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We yeah. were just talking to John Weisenberger the other day, and he can hardly wait to do his <laughs> Oh! And he's actually standing up in front this time. So. <laughs> okay. He's excited. And how about the Mile 5 band? The Mile 5 is group. Noah DeCam, Logan Johnson, Gavin Glynn, Ben Canolt, and DJ Chattling. And they are doing a little cold play. Um, John Mayer, Tracy Chapman. Perfect. They've been practicing. What a great yeah. way to round it out. Your MCs this year are? Our MCs are Dave Otto and John Havelka. And they've you know, been shy that they are. <laughs> but. You know, and they've helped have, you out the last couple they of years, have. I think. They and have. They've, they been a great a, job. they've been a big hit on their own. Vi, before we get to yep. a little bit of our musical entertainment, we want to talk about what this supports. And we mentioned right. already monetary donations. What are the needs at the food shelf? The needs are, you know, with the economy being the way it is, the needs are greater than they've ever been. The food shelf um, serves mostly children, um, families, and a lot of the patrons have jobs, mm -hmm. they just don't have enough income to support all of the different exactly. bills that they, they have. So um, one of the things we also like to remem remind people is that if you plant a garden and it's producing well, the food shelf would love fresh to have produce. your right fresh pro produce, uh, any extra stuff that you want to bring in, they are you know more than happy to take that. Um, the needs are great. Right, the needs are great. The Steel County Food Shelf buys almost 85% of the food it distributes, so uh, cash contributions are extremely appreciated. Okay. Um, I did want to mention a couple facts here for the month of January. Um, they fed 500 households, which mm. equated to 1,520 individuals, wow. and that mm. equates out to 42,669 pounds of food. That's amazing. When yep. You put it in those so that is terms. a lot. Um, their cost, the Steel County Food Shelf's cost, is 11 cents uh, per meal. Okay. Per their for their clients. Wow. So Some amazing stats. And I know it, in attending the concert, too, you'll have a lot of that information going right. on throughout the course mm -hmm. so that right. everyone is very well aware of the, the right. good cause that they are supporting. Exactly. So, well, we want to leave a little bit of time for music. We don't want to shortchange <laughs> that because this is always very, very fun for us. So if you would mind, if you wouldn't mind, John, picking up the guitar. Sure. And, uh, of course, I'll keep announcing this as we approach the event, but... Um, it, it again as they're getting tuned up and ready here Friday and Saturday March 2nd and 3rd 7 o'clock Sunday March Thank 4th you. 2 and 5 all at the Little Theater of Owatonna free will donations um, we should mention the sponsors of it are uh, Federated Insurance US Federated Insurance US <coughs> Bank Mayo Clinic Health System Owatonna Owatonna Granite and Monument Thrivent Financial for Lutherans and KOWZ uh, radio so we do want to make sure we mention that as well are we ready <laughs> Now all the bonny birds 
And I'm Jake with Napa Auto Parts. Napa has the know-how for all your automotive needs. Napa is a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. The Owatonna Care Center is excited to announce our new partnership with Dr. Middle and Dr. Wilcox of Long-Term Care Professionals. This partnership ensures that residents can be seen right here at the Owatonna Care Center when needed. With the special on-site care, long-term care professionals will be delivering to our facility. Our goal is to decrease hospital visits and ensure special one-on-one -on -one care for each resident. Long-term care professionals and the Owatonna Care Center are dedicated to improving the clinical management for our residents, ensuring that they receive the highest quality of care. Did you know that it is illegal in the city of Oatana to host or allow a gathering where minors will be consuming alcoholic beverages on your property or in your residence? Did you know it is illegal to provide minors with alcohol unless they are your own kids, in your own home, and you are present? Underage drinking leads to increased risks of future chemical dependency, engaging in more serious criminal activity, and becoming a victim of a crime. Please help keep our kids and our community safe by not encouraging, hosting, or allowing underage drinking. This is a message from the Owatonna Police Department and the Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County. Hi, I'm Elaine Benson, and I play Muriel Eubanks. And I'm Steve Searle, and I play Lawrence Jamison in the LTO's current production of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, directed by Julianna Skazaciak and sponsored by the Wanger Foundation. Performances of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels will be held Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, February 16th, 17th, and 18th at 7.30 p.m., with a matinee on Sunday, February 19th at 2 p.m. And again the following Thursday through Saturday, February 23rd, 24th, and 25th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the LTO box office by calling 451-0764. Don't miss LTO's production of Dirty, Dirty Rotten, Rotten Scoundrels. Scoundrels. Some great music, some great information, and a couple of announcements here to wrap it up. Sweetheart Pet Contest going on with Steel County Humane Society. Um, ooh, submission. Ooh, you, boy, you would need to have those submissions in. I guess I may be a little bit after the fact on that one. Don't forget Hospital Auxiliary Fundraiser at the Pizza Ranch is next Wednesday, February 29th from 5 to 9 o'clock. And uh, I'm running out of time, and we're running. I do have 30 seconds. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> It's been that kind of Friday. We hope you enjoyed the Owatonna Today Show. You have a great week, and we'll see you next week. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson.